this project really could be a game changer in terms of the way we think about how we use trees in urban landscapes and how we manage water in urban landscapes. So what we hope will come out of this project is a really important lesson learned that we may be able to use in the future development of our towns and cities because what we should be doing is wherever we're putting in new infrastructure such as roads and pavements we should be thinking about how we can divert the water running off the road into those pavements and using trees as a mechanism to help treat the water and take up some of that excess water. So what we've done, we've planted three trees in a very, very long tree trench and we're directing water from the road into the tree trench and eventually back into the main sewer. This has been an enormous engineering project. We've constructed a, a 20 metre long tree trench that's 1.75 metres deep and inside that we have a modular or like a milk crate structure called silver cells. So they provide a load bearing structure to prevent compaction to the soil which means that water can easily pass through the soil as well as oxygen. So that's also good for the tree but it's good actually for proving concept how this system can actually manage surface water runoff and also retain contaminants. One of the biggest challenges facing urban trees is the lack of soil volume and the compacted soils that are expected to grow in. Deeper provided the silver cells, which are an open structure that allows you to provide large volumes of uncompacted soil for growing large mature trees in the urban environment while meeting the engineering requirements of that site. This will enable these trees to survive long into the future, making a positive contribution to the local environment. So the trees that you can see planted behind us are London plane trees and the reason why we've used London plane trees is because they are a very, very tough tree. So they're ideal for a project like this. So what we hope to learn from this project is that green space, trees and grassed areas in urban environments can provide a really great tool for not only reducing surface water runoff but also for reducing pollutants like metals and hydrocarbons and oils that ultimately can get to sewage treatment works or indeed discharged into rivers. So traditionally hard engineering was used but by taking soft engineering approaches using nature as a helping hand we might be able to improve the environment for all. One of the big challenges that we have in relation to water quality uh, is from urban diffuse pollution. Cars, lorries, vehicles on the road produce a cocktail of pollutants which can end up in our river systems. So tackling them at their source is very difficult because by their very nature that they're diffuse. So one of the solutions that we're looking at is using green infrastructure such as street trees to try and clean up that water before it gets into our river systems. By trapping pollutants and limiting the amount and the speed at which surface water from the highway enters our sewerage system, these kind of interventions really can um, help reduce flood risk and also lessen the potential for pollution from our overflows. We'll also see benefits in terms of our operational costs as the need to reduce grit and the need to pump and treat surface water is reduced. And what's fantastic about the tree planting scheme is that we can achieve all this whilst delivering environmental benefits, offering something to the wildlife and also wider community benefits, making the area look nice. In Salford we've got a lot of developers working on very constrained urban sites so there isn't the space to put in ponds and swales and streams so we're looking at ways in which we can deal with issues of uh, surface water flooding and diffuse pollution by looking at street trees as a way of managing this problem without taking up too much space. My ambition is for this sort of technique should become the standard, the Greater Manchester standard if you like, uh, for drainage systems in uh, urban areas. It's starting in Salford, we're already talking to developers who are really enthusiastic about using this idea in their new developments and want to share that with the rest of Greater Manchester. Water is taken off the road surface and is directed into the tree pit. Any excess water that isn't utilised by the trees is returned to the sewer system via an underdrain. We're monitoring both the inflow and outflow of the tree pit system for water quantity and water quality. 
initial results are really promising. The tree pit system is holding back approximately 40% of water volumes and is slowing the water entering into the sewer system by up to two hours. Water quality monitoring is ongoing and we're hopeful of some promising results soon.